I, I still am trying to wrap my mind around what the shrine is. Dude, like, these people wear these like big hats. They think show they're me so a picture. cool. You want to see a picture of the Shriners? Yeah, because I'm like, who the fuck are these mother... Okay. I'm like, who the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, here. How the fuck? I mean, no offense, but like, why the hats? No, no. Why these no. fucking hats? No. I I am sick, 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 sick of this of your shit. shit. Wait, where's... Look where at where them in here? the cars. What the... They do some really weird activities. Honestly, I'm sorry. I no judgment on anyone. No, but I am judging them. What I don't Look at understand. This. These are grown men in their like 70s that are riding little. They're just cars. like sad little boys. Well, people should go listen to our episode about veganism and the history of veganism and how it's not anything new. Because right. when we talk about religion, right, and you know, hundreds of years ago, the world was run by the church. Right, religion actually quotes from the Bible, quotes from from many religious texts do they do not promote abuse towards yeah, animals do it promotes veganism exactly thou shall not kill period period end of say, story thou shall not kill Duh. only humans no no i provided you with plants and seed bear is seed bearing fruits whatever the fuck right it's, okay animals and circuses what could go fucking wrong we've discovered in this <laughs> everything episode, everything <laughs> i didn't even tell you some of these like stories there was an elephant named teak in um 1994 who broke free from a circus in hawaii oh, no. and she killed her trainer as well this guy alan campbell who had cocaine and alcohol in his system and he had been accused of animal abuse in the past but Ugh. i just wanted to tell you guys this because this story is freaking crazy anyway teak the elephant went on a rampage in the streets of hawaii was, was probably so afraid so scared was running down the street and then the police shot her dead i think i know this story and yeah she inspired several lawsuits uh new legislation in hawaii and abroad um and there were songs paying tribute to her one example another fucking example um there there was a major major fire that erupted uh, at the Ringling Bros mm -hmm. Barnum and Bailey Circus in it was just years ago sometime in the 1900s and it killed over 150 people wow um and animals it didn't even say how many animals died in this That's but so sad it's just like guys it's we so can avoid frustrating all of this we can i avoid, know this doesn't need to happen it's so unnecessary i know like i'm not the smartest <sighs> person in the world I am not the most athletic person. I am not the healthiest person. I am not a lot of things, but I am definitely compassionate. And I am just like sick of living in a world where people just don't have that. I'm like, I don't want to associate with right. so many people any anymore right. because I'm like, you don't care. Right. What is happening? Right. What kind of world are we living in? Right. Is like, this what human means? Is this what being human means? Because if it is, then I don't want to be it. Yeah, I don't associate myself with being human because yeah. most of us are horrible. We are horrible, yeah. selfish, and completely unwilling mm -hmm. to face the truth mm -hmm. of our own actions. And mm -hmm. I'm, it's just like, done and I'm done dude this is a topic like circuses is a topic where it's not like we're we coming out this. we don't need it it's not like we're coming at you with what you're eating three times a day which right. is a little bit more Horrible. of a shift this is something where we're saying you just don't have to buy a ticket to a circus and support this industry right come but on. i i do you know you obviously should change what you're eating three times a day too but yeah but this saying, is so easy this is this so easy to just not support <laughs> 